Hey everybody. Next question was, uh, are there any surgeries or procedures that can be done uh, to help me at this point with my condition? And um, I, I guess there could be. Uh, they're doing experimental stem cell um, surgeries with uh, in cer certain circumstances. But as of right now, as I understand it, it's lower level. Uh, people generally that are injured in the thoracic level or lower, which is uh, it's well below mine. Uh, it's down, if I have this correctly, it's um, cerebral, which is, I'm considered a C4. Uh, cerebral, and then what is it cerebral thoracic uh, huh. I'm forgetting something already cerebral I don't know it's totally skipping my mind I know there's cerebral thoracic and sacral but I'm missing one anyway that's irrelevant. Uh, the thoracic is down lower. It's right above the, the sacral, which is your tailbone. Um, so they're doing surgeries, uh, experimental surgeries to help people with those level injuries, which would be stem cell. And that even takes time to prove itself, um, whether it's beneficial or not. Um, so besides that, I guess the best thing I can do is hope for a chance for that to happen, to be able to have a surgery. As of right now, I don't believe there are for myself, but I could be wrong. If there were ever something that I could be entered into as far as experimental goes, um, I'm almost positive. I would have to sit and think about it, but it probably wouldn't take me too long. I'd probably jump right on it, to be honest. They do surgeries, stem cell, in other countries. Um, I know Germany and I believe China or Japan or some, somewhere over, you know, in East, Eastern Asia. And I think some lower, a country below us somewhere. I'm not sure if it's Haiti or Dominican Republic or when it's somewhere around there but I mean when you go to countries like that you don't know what their what their health care is like um, you know what their rules are if their standards are up to ours in the United States so I don't know if it's really worth taking a trip over there I mean they're thank God for people and, and donations we probably would have enough money to take a shot at something like that but one it would drain the fund probably almost to nothing and two again do I really want to take that chance um, when I was at Kennedy I'm sorry not Kennedy when I was at McGee there was a woman there I don't remember her name and well obviously even if I did I wouldn't say it for courtesy and privacy reasons but um, I guess I, I was pretty much out of it at that point that was too early on in the game for me to remember too much but um, I guess someone in my family had spoken to her husband who I do remember seeing there every day he always wore a Philly shirt he was the nicest guy um, just because I always saw her by her side him by her side which takes a strong person to do but she went over to Germany I think for some kind of medical procedure now she could walk talk it was again some kind of medical procedure that was not related to spinal cord injuries or paralysis or anything and went to Germany had the procedure done and I guess when she came out of it she's was pretty much in a vegetative state um, I remember her laying you know we were all in wheelchairs and I had my trach in my throat and I was pretty rough looking and not happy where I was but I mean you know I saw her and she was basically laying or not basically she was laying on, on a bed they would just roll her around in because she couldn't sit up she couldn't 
you know, communicate. She basically just moaned and groaned. And the sad thing is, is they thought that she was there mentally. And there was nothing that they could really do at this point. I mean, who knows where she is now, but I can't imagine that she's much better, although I hope she is. But again, I'm venturing off here. But when you go to other countries for procedures, you're taking a chance, I believe. So, I would not do that, I don't think. I think if I would, it would probably be East Asia because how smart those people are there. <laughs> I would trust them more than anybody. Um, but here in the United States, I would positively enroll in a like, like an experimental procedure. I mean, I, I do have a lot to lose, but I mean, because what happened to that lady in Germany could easily happen to me here. But I think I would be willing to take that chance in the United States, just because I feel confident with our level of uh, care here so the short answer or that was the long answer which probably sound like a lot of rambling but I don't believe that there are any procedures for me at this point keep your fingers crossed for me that and uh, not me everybody with paralysis quadriplegics paraplegics you know multiple sclerosis anything that it uh, dis disables people uh, that can benefit from stem cells Hopefully the government can pull together and make this happen because we need it. So um, that is it for now. I will make. I have a bunch of questions here, so I think I'm going to try to make quite a few videos here and post them up today. And please continue to submit them. People have been emailing me, um, responding to videos, you know, posting questions on YouTube. I love it. So keep them coming. It gives me something to do, like I said. Not that I'm bored. I do rehab, but there is some downtime in between. So I like to answer questions and let people know what's going on. So thank you. All right. Close. 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 Cancel. Mouse grid. Eight. Six. Two. Three, click.